Hey, big booty. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Pump Chasers. Anyway, guys, so I'm going through my computer. You know how YouTube has this whole demonetizing thing, man. Like I told you guys a while ago, I probably, I'm not going to say I do these videos for free, but I definitely do them for very little. Like, I typically do them because I want to keep in touch with you guys. I like engaging with you guys. I like being able to just turn on my computer and have access to thousands of people in different parts of the world. That is actually a blessing. People pay for that type of engagement. People pay for that type of advertisement and I'll be a damn fool to not post just because YouTube ain't really paying motherfuckers, right? Let me show you this right here. You know, I was just going through videos that are not getting monetized. Look at this. That got demonetized from music. I got so many videos demonetized just for having music in the background. I lost count. And look at this right here. The C.T. Fletcher video with the deadlift party, one of my highest view videos. Not monetized. Look at that yellow check. But anyway, guys, long story short, as I was scrolling through, I came across this video right here. Let me show you this. I recorded this video July 23rd, 2016, and I never posted it. I don't know why. It's just been in my fucking system, in my uh, YouTube account. Never made it public. See? Three views. You feel me? Three views. Never shared. Those views are probably my views, right? Again, in other video, not monetized below it. The point I'm trying to make is this. I'm posting this video today. Alright? So you may so you may notice I got a little scraggly bullshit beard. I was going through a phase, I was trying to grow a beard, didn't work out. And I mentioned uh Sandra's name. Obviously, she was part of the family around that time. So just wanted to share this video with you because for one, I never shared it. And for two, my opinion is pretty much still the same. If my opinion was different, I would obviously not share the video. My opinion is pretty much still the same. So without too much talking, here's the video. Also, guys, we're doing a Halloween sale. Listen closely. All joggers, athletic fit and slim fit, $30, one day only. All joggers, slim fit and athletic fit, and shorts, or $30, one day only, just for Halloween. Also, type in 15% off code at checkout for 15% off anything. The code is 15PUMP. Type in 15PUMP at checkout, get 15% off anything for Halloween, and all joggers, slim fit, athletic fit, and shorts, or $30, one day only. Deal so good, they'll scare the shit out of you. What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Pump Chasers. And uh, today I'm over here in my office, man. Just got done knocking out these emails. About to play a little bit of Xbox Live. Pump Chasers, CJ is my uh, gamer tag. Be sure to fuck with me, man. I I play mostly Gears of War. I might hop on that Grand Theft Auto or that uh or that Black Ops or some shit. But for the most part, I'm usually on that Gears of War. So all my Gears of War fans, salute to y'all. I look very forward to that new one that's coming out this winter. All right, so check it out, man. Been a while since I've covered a random topic video. I used to do random topics all the time back in my uh, POG days. So decided it'd be kind of fun to let's cover a fitness topic today. And today's topic is the pros and cons of having a training partner. As you may or may not know, I typically train by myself. Yes, I might collab with friends from time to time or work out with friends from time to time, but for the most part, I typically train alone. Some of you guys, you may have a loyal training partner that you train with all the time. Some of you guys may be like me, just train the fuck by yourself. So I'm gonna talk about some pros and cons of having a training partner, and I want y'all for fun to chime in below and let me know your opinion, some of your pros and cons for having a training partner. So. For people who don't know what a fucking pro and con is, for motherfuckers who didn't go to school, 
Pros mean practically good things. Cons mean practically bad things, okay? So, some of the pros of uh, good things about having a trainer. I'm going to have to say somebody to push you, man. How many of y'all really had those times where you just didn't really feel like working out, man? You didn't really feel like working out, but your, your partner came to the gym with you and pushed you and you got through with it. And you came home feeling good about yourself because you know you really didn't want to train, but you went to the gym anyway and you got it done. You know, another good thing about having a training partner is somebody to spot you. There has been many times where, you know, I want to go a little heavier on the bench, but I did it because I'm training alone and I didn't really want to feel like bothering any random person that I don't fucking know, asking them for a spot. Or you have those dumbass spotters who keep their hands on the bar the whole fucking time. I hate fucking people like that. When I tell you I got it, that means back the fuck up, get your hands off my bar. Another good thing about having a training partner it is it's someone to keep you accountable. There is no skipping workouts when you got a partner ready to come to the gym and meet you because, you know, they're depending on you to show up. They're depending on you for that energy. They're depending on you to bring that intensity. So it definitely keeps you more accountable. It gives you somebody to lean on. You feel me? Someone to share this journey with, especially if both of y'all are prepping for a show or if both of y'all are bulking or something like that. Let me bring this camera up. You know, both of y'all are bulking or something like that. It's definitely a good feeling to have somebody share that with you. Now, let's talk about the cons, right? One of the bad things about possibly having a training partner is, you know, like for somebody like myself, my schedule is fucking crazy. Like right now, guys, see that? It's 11.22 p.m., guys. My schedule is fucking crazy. Sometimes I wake up at 10 a.m. Sometimes I wake up at 6 a.m. Sometimes I work so late, I don't get to bed till like 5 and I wake up in the afternoon. My schedule is all fucked up. So I really can't have no training partner. I really hate when somebody calls me and be like, hey, let's get together and let's train tomorrow at three o'clock or four o'clock because honestly, I don't know what my next day is gonna look like. I might not wake up to in the afternoon. I like to have me a snack or something before I train. I gotta do my emails first. I gotta drop off my packages first. I like to just I like to just plan my day as I go. I don't like having a set training schedule. I get to the gym. I don't skip workouts, but I don't go to the gym when it's convenient. I go to the gym when I can. So that's one thing about, uh, that's one negative thing about having a training partner. It can possibly be an inconvenience. You'll find yourself trying to rush to the gym to be to, at the gym on time to meet someone else instead of just going when it's more convenient for you. So if you're a busy person, definitely may not be a good idea to have a training partner. Also, another uh, negative, a uh, possible negative thing can be like, y'all have two different goals. Like for my, for an example, for me, like as you notice, them delts though, ooh, them delts are coming in, ain't they? I know. Anybody been following me for the past two or three years know delts has always been a weak point for me. You know, for an example, delts has been a weak point for me. So if I got somebody who's on a well-rounded split, like push pull legs that you can get on my website by the way you know it makes no sense to try to train with this person week after week because i am focused on bringing up my delts i'm trying to hit really delt based training weekly you know i might do a four days on one day off split and it's a lot of delts in my training you know to really bring up that weak point you know my my training split i'm an advanced um lifter and I'm a personal trainer as well. I create uh, programs, so it makes no sense to follow somebody who's on a well-balanced program when I'm really trying to bring up my delts and my hamstrings. I gotta train for my weak points, you understand? So you, it's really hard to find someone to train with when you have specific goals. That's why a lot of advanced people typically train alone. Well, at least the ones that I know personally. A lot of them just typically train alone because they have specific weak points they're trying to bring up. And obviously it's really hard to find someone with the exact weak points that you have. You, know, you might have somebody who, who wants to bring up their upper chest or somebody who wants to bring up their back. Obviously I have a great back. 
So why on earth would I transfer with somebody whose main focus for the off season, whose main focus for the bulking season to bring up their back? They're probably gonna be hitting back two times a week, you feel me? And I only hit my back like maybe once a week. So definitely it's hard to have a custom tailored split when you have a training partner. That's another negative thing. Another possible negative thing about having a training partner is it's really, it's really hard to go at your own pace. You know, how many of you guys, I can't speak for everybody else, I can, I can only speak for myself. You know, you may have had a long fucking day at the gym, you're not really feeling your strongest, you don't wanna be fucking pushed, you just wanna go to the gym and do a light workout and go to fuck home. Well, your partner, he may have a good day, he may be full of fucking energy and full of pre-workout and he doesn't give a fuck about your long day. He wants to go fucking ham. He wants to go crazy. He wants to get that high volume in. You know what I mean? But you, you've only had three or four hours of sleep. This guy's been sleeping eight to ten hours a day. You know, obviously he's going to have a lot more energy than you. You may even slow him down. Or you can possibly even risk overtraining. You know, I notice when I feel a little shitty, where I feel a little drained, I'll just go a little lighter for a couple of days. You know what I mean? But if I'm training with someone who's always full of energy, he wants to do drive sets, he wants to do force reps, eventually that's going to cost me to overtrain. You know, because I'm not, I'm not listening to my body. It's really hard to listen to your body and train the best way for you when you're training with someone else. So definitely keep that in mind as well. And that's pretty much my opinion on the whole, you know, benefits, the pros and cons of having a training partner. Me personally, I can't speak for everybody else. I love having company in the gym. I love training with Jerron. I like training with Sandra. I like training with my viewers when I have time. I like that, but you know, I also like training alone as well. So to sum everything up in a nutshell, I love having training partners, but not all the time. You know, I like my I like my alone time, I like my me time, and I also like to have somebody to train with as well. So I like both. So pretty much I guess you could say I'm the training partner with no strings attached. At least for now, who knows, things may change in the future. My schedule may lighten up or my goals may change and I might have, I might be like Johnny Jackson and Branch Warren where I have a training partner or some shit like that. But at the moment, I'm a no strings attached training partner. I typically train alone and if my schedule opens up or if I need a little motivation or a little bit of a push, you know, I'll reach out to one of my friends and we go fucking kill it. But you know, y'all comment below guys. Do y'all like having training partners or do you prefer uh, to train alone? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, what do you think about this uh, hooded stringer? They're not out yet and they might never come out. This was a sample sent to me. You know, check out the back. Check out the back. Bam! Yeah, these are now, you know. I'm probably gonna wear it in California though. I like the way it look, you know, it's kind of loose, whole ready. You know, I like to call these the whole ready Hall of Fame stringers, man, because not everybody is willing and able to rock these bad boys. Well, anyway, guys, y'all comment below. Like I said, you like, to, you like to train alone or do you like to have a training partner and why? Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, holla back at your boy.